worry about retaliation, Bernie. Listen, I'm asking you to handle it. That's all I'm asking. Sonny, the cops are on this. I'm doing all I can. Yeah, well, so am I. <sighs> Searching for Brenda does not give you the right to turn this city into a war zone. Watch me. You're either with me or against me. Well, I'm against you breaking the law to search for Brenda. Field did not bring in his own army. He cut a deal with one of the families, or he used a, a local. But either way, we're talking about a sick, freaky individual here. And if all they did was we'll steal a van to transport Brenda or rent a safe house so Theo can keep her. Somebody knows something. And the PCPD will squeeze every major player in this town. I don't want to use the cops! I'm done with cops! Well, this is the problem. This is my wife we're talking about. Great, Sonny, this is the problem. You're too close to this. You can't be involved. You're overcome with worry. You're gonna take it out on the first person that you find. Look, I have to have information, right? And I'm gonna get it, no matter what. Okay. Your fear for Brenda does not give you the right to go and break skulls and hurt innocent people. Why is it that you only choose to go by the book when it's somebody innocent like, like Michael or Brenda are gonna suffer for it? Sorry, that was, that, that was a cheap shot. I didn't come here to fight with you, Sonny. I'm warning you to back off before you make things worse. Well, we're just we're going around in circles because I, you know, can we just talk about something that we can agree on? I want you to, if you can, help Michael and Morgan because they saw things that night that I, I never wanted them to witness. Well, stop doing what you're doing. Now, who's gonna take care of the bad guys? I want that part of my life separate from my kids. Michael knows this. I'm just, a I, I want to ask you if you would talk to Morgan. You want me to be your apologist? Sonny, wh wh what part of let the cops handle this don't you get? Well, as, as my son who stood by me as my best man at my wedding, as I vowed to love and honor Brenda for the rest of my life, three hours later, she's gone. Look, it's a nightmare. Sonny, but this does not give you carte blanche to go hurting this Sean Butler guy or anybody else. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna find Brenda, whatever it takes. And I know you wanna help, but you don't, you don't, you don't wanna compromise your badge, so I'm asking you to take a leave of absence, go on a vacation with Lulu, and I'll pay the tab. You, you seriously want me to go sit on a beach somewhere, watch the sunset while you stick around town murdering people? Yes. When? Look, all I'm saying is give us a little time. There's no time. If Brenda's still alive, I'm going to find her. And even if I have to bend the rules a little bit. Right. Well, that's good, son. You break a few kneecaps, kill a few guys, put the bodies in the harbor, and uh, make your son... You don't have to stay in town to watch. I'm not talking about me. Hey. What's up? You, you called Lulu? Yeah, I, uh... I want uh, Dante to take a vacation. Anywhere you guys want. Oh, that's that's really generous and unexpected. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to fight with Dante. And I know you have issues with me, but I know you love him. So wherever you guys wanna to, wanna to go, you know, let let me know. It's a, I'll I'll pay the tab. Just when I start to feel for the guy, I want to lock him up and throw away the key. Back down one of Theo's guys, Sean Butler. Security consultant? Yeah. He had him duct taped to a chair in Carly's living room. He was going to work him over to get information about Theo. Was Carly there too? Yeah. Sean told her he didn't know where Brendan and Theo were, and she believed him, so she was trying to stop Sonny. Michael showed up, and then Morgan saw what was going on, so he called me. Oh, my God. Morgan should not see his dad like that. I, I know. He was afraid his father was going to kill this guy right in front of him. I mean, what, what kind of role model is so that? So did you get there in time? Yeah, I talked him down. I told him he should work on being a father first. Well, no matter what I think of Sonny, his kids are always the most important thing to him. Yeah, he keeps saying that. You know, heaven forbid he would actually quit the business and set a decent example. Well... 
Dante, you've seen the dark and vengeful side of Sonny before, and maybe he doesn't want you to see it again, and that's why he's trying to keep you off the Brenda search. So what, you think I should take him up on his offer of sipping margaritas I, on a beach? I think that maybe he's trying to protect you. I think the only person Sonny Corinthos is trying to protect is himself. I've broken laws myself. I, I just, I don't think Sonny should be going around strong-arming every punk in the city. Well, you're trying to keep a bad situation from getting worse the best that you can. Yeah, I, but I, I can't just make up rules. This law is worth enforcing, this one isn't. Right, but, uh, I don't know, you're making the best choices that you can at the time. Well, if I think like that, I'm really no better than Sonny. You're moral and ethical. I have a duty to my brothers, to me, to Sonny, to, to, to keep them in line. Okay, well, Sonny's gonna do everything that he wants. Unless I'm prepared to arrest him. Are you? Yeah, Falconeri. Dante? It's Molly. Mike went after this guy who I think works for Theo, and he hasn't come back. Turn him, Theo, I'll be dead. Please, drop the gun. Back off, or he's dead.